Next question. My new doctor says my diabetes is, <laughs> is too controlled with an A1C of 6%. I am 68 years old. He says it should be above 7 for older people. Is this true? Well, actually, as, as I recall, and I could be wrong, the ADA, American Diabetes Association, uh, recommends over 8% for older people. The reason they give is that these people are not going to live uh, very long anyway. They uh, may not die of complications of diabetes. They're probably near death anyway. So why deprive them of the sweet foods and things that could make life enjoyable? Uh, uh, just let them go down the tubes. That's uh, in effect the attitude that um, uh, seems to appear in the guidelines. But if you uh, speak to some of the people that were originally involved in these high carbohydrate gu guidelines many years ago, as I did before I became a physician, uh, they're worried about hypoglycemia. And I've stated this experience over and over. I'm told, hey, I'm a doctor, I, I specialize in diabetes, I treat several thousand diabetic patients. If they all uh, die of congestive heart failure or go blind or have their legs amputated, those are natural consequences of the disease. So uh, I'm not responsible if high blood sugars uh, kill them uh, slowly. But if one patient dies of hypoglycemia, I get sued. Well, in modern years, there's even an additional factor to take into consideration. Let's say that a doctor is treating an older patient. The patient dies of hypoglycemia, but he's told the patient, you have to keep your blood sugars well, an A1C of eight would be um, uh, to above 280. Um, no, I'm sorry, above 220. Uh, and this patient dies of hypoglycemia. The doctor can say, I, my chart notes show that I was practicing in accord with the ADA guidelines. I told him his blood sugars have to be above 220, his A1C has to be above 8, so I was in accord with the guidelines. And in most courts in this country, if you stuck to the guidelines, you can't be sued. So even though he died of hypoglycemia, um, I can't be sued uh, because I was sticking to the guidelines. That's sort of the ball game. And if your doctor is trying to do this sort of thing to you, uh, you should find a doctor who's more sympathetic and who uh, uh, would place a greater value on your survival.